What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and I have another unboxing video for you. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the 2016 December Powered Geek Box. I've kind of had this box for a little bit. My bad, my bad. If you're interested in getting this box, I'll go ahead and put all the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, jeez, <laughs> this is what you're going to see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So Power Geek Box, they've been doing a lot of new things lately. I know they have a girls box, they have like a mega box. This is the premium box, I think. I don't really know for sure, but look in the pricing details. It's not the lower box, it's like the other box, but not the new big expensive box. Okay, let's do this. The first item we have is, do you want to build a snowman? It's a little plastic container, and I want to say that this... Oh, this is like, um... What's the stuff that Nickelodeon had? Floam? Floam, I think it was called. Where it was like the putty that had styrofoam in it. Yes, it is. I'm not going to open this because I actually uh, have somebody that I want to give this to. That I think they would like that. The next item we have is this little mini, teeny tiny little cup. This is a tumbler cup. Has, is it insulated? I don't know if this is insulated or not. This is a licensed Star Wars product from Vendor is the maker of this. I've never heard of that company. But this is actually kind of cool. It's a little bit small. I would say that this is a little bit better suited for a child. But I do like the graphics on there. They're a little bit cartoony, which I enjoy. My favorite. I actually really like how the Stormtroopers look in this. So that is very cool. We have a Nightmare Before Christmas Jack Skellington plushie. Should we open it? And he's dressed up like Santa Claus because this was the December box for Christmas. This is actually really cool. I like this. And look. When I put this shirt on, I didn't think I was going to get any Nightmare Before Christmas things. But I forgot that this was December, so that makes sense. Next, we have... Ooh, yes! It's a reusable shopping bag. I'm going to open it because I'm going to use this. It's a Star Wars reusable shopping bag. This is very cool. There you go. Luke looks a little bit funky in this, but I think it's just the way that it was printed. Oh, it's just because there's like little circles in his face, that's all. Next we have a Funko Pop. This is C2B5. This is from Rogue One. I actually already have this one, although I think the one that I have, well, this one's not in the best condition. It's a little bit dented on the corners, but it's still good. The one thing that I have about this guy, I really love K2SO. He was my favorite droid in the movie. I thought he was hilarious. But I realized that uh, you don't really see this guy very much. I don't even know if you ever saw him. Does anyone know? I only saw the movie one time, so I'm not 100% sure, but I left the movie going, oh, now I understand the Funko Pops. Now I get the characters. And then I thought, Wait, I don't remember seeing a droid that looked like this. Like, basically like a black version of R2-D2. I don't remember seeing that. So, does anyone know at what point this guy appeared in the movie? Did he even have a part or anything? Or was it is it just they made a Funko Pop of him? Everyone else I remember and had an actual part in the movie. But yeah, this is the one droid. I don't know. I don't remember really seeing him. We have a pack of these Star Wars Perspectives cards. Look how handsome Chewbacca looks in this one card. And we got a hollow. We would get Emperor Palpatine for our hollow, but this is a cool hollow. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh, neat. So this was a pack of six cards. Okay, with those. These are actually really nice cards. These remind me of legitimate like baseball cards. And then the last time we have is our shirt. The one thing about this company is they always give you a licensed shirt, which is nice. This is a Star Wars men's medium. It's a powder blue, I would say. This is a really, 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 really thick shirt. It's almost uncomfortably thick. There's not any kind of softness, and this is the back. I like the shirt. There's a lot of graphics going on. I don't know if this is a shirt that I would actually wear. I think there's a little bit too much going on, but this shirt's really thick. It's like really thick and a little bit stiff. I'm not a huge fan of shirts that have this kind of feel to it. I'm more used to like the softer shirts, so I don't know if this is a shirt that I would actually wear, but it's a cool shirt and it's licensed, which is nice. 
All right, that's all the items in the box. Let's go and do some pricing and recap. The Star Wars cards, I'm going to go ahead and give $2. I don't really, you might be able to give those three. I don't really buy trading cards that often, so I don't really know. Our right, Funko Pop, I'm going to go ahead and give that $10. The shirt, I'm going to go ahead and give $12 because it's licensed. This tumbler, I'll go ahead and give it $5. I usually give, if they're bigger, I give them $5, but this is actually really good quality tumbler. If you could feel it, it, it has a lot of like, to it. It's I've had some other tumblers that are a little bit cheap, but this is a good one. So I'll give that five dollars. You might be able to give that just four dollars. The Nightmare Before Christmas plushie, I'll go ahead and give that five dollars since it's licensed. This reusable bag is cool. I'd probably give this maybe three dollars. And then the build a snowman, I I would probably say this is at most two dollars. Alright, according to my pricing, this box is worth thirty-nine dollars. This box costs thirty-nine dollars and ninety cents a month if you have the one month plan. So uh, it basically just hits its value, which actually is really normal for this box. I did price some things a little bit lower. You probably could give the shirt maybe maybe one more dollar, at most one more dollar. The plushie might be able to get one more dollar. Um, the bag, maybe a dollar, maybe one more dollar. I think that's about it. Maybe the card's one more dollar. So you might be able to give this box a few more dollars. But at the end of the day, it basically just hits its value plus maybe a, maybe a teeny bit if you price it a little bit higher than I did. That's been the constant with this box, to be 100% honest. But I will say that I actually like this box this month. And I enjoy that they actually kind of, I know they don't do themes, but at least the items within are pretty connected. The only thing that's really funky is this which is kind of out of place, but not really since it's a December box. I think they put this in because it kind of represents Christmas, which represents December. And then you got a bunch of Star Wars stuff, which is great because it was, I'm assuming they were trying to celebrate Rogue One coming out in December. And then you just had, you know, this snowman guy, again, to represent Christmas. So not a terrible box. I actually like the items in it because I like Star Wars, but you know, value-wise, it just depends because you're really just getting your values. You almost can just go to the store and get these items for the amount that you're paying for. So it just depends on if you like the items in the box or not. I, this month, like the item, so I appreciate it. But in past months, there have been times where it just hits its value and I don't really like the stuff, so I'm not a huge fan of the box. But that is the risk that you take with subscription boxes in general. This box is not going to be one right now that you get exclusive items like Loot Crate where you can get a Funko Pop that, yeah, in theory it's worth $10, but re in reality you can resell it for, you know, $50. Be well, I don't know. We haven't had one from Loot Crate that's like that, I don't think. But usually when you get exclusive pops from other subscription boxes, it increases the value a little bit. Now, this is just a regular pop that you can get at the store, so the value does not increase very much because you can get it for $8 to $10 at the store. If I had to rate this box, I'd give this box a 3.75 out of 5 noobs. The reason why it's so high is because I like the items. So that's my biased opinion. If I didn't like the items, it would get a lot lower. It would probably get around more of like a 3 point maybe like a 3 or a 3.25. I'm glad that it hit its value and we at least got our money back, but I would expect for a box that at this price to get at least $12 extra value on top of what I paid for. Um, again, since this box I don't think has the partnerships with uh, Funko or anything to get exclusive items, you're really just going to get your value for this box. And then because they don't have themes, it's hard to plan ahead because I was going to say you should try to figure out what, what kind of stuff they're going to get for that month and see if you like it and then buy that specific box because it definitely is hit or miss. I think that they've done a lot better lately at actually giving items that are themed within without releasing a theme because I know they don't like to, to release a theme. Like they didn't want to say we're going to give you a Star Wars box, but at least when you open up the box, it's all like a themed box instead of just random items here and there, which is what they used to have. So I would say 3.75 out of 5 noobs. I would look for better value. I would want more value. Um, that's really the only thing that this box is lacking this month is value. If it would have at least gotten a little bit extra value, I would have given it maybe a 4 because I like the items. But I would say that I would want more value in future months. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. Did you like the items? I know I have a lot of Star Wars fans, so I feel like you guys might have liked the items. So if you did like the items, what is your thought process about the value of the box? So, and what would you rate it based off of that? So again, I'm biased because I like the items and that's why the rating's so high. If you didn't like Star Wars, then I could see you giving a low score to this because the value is just there. It doesn't get any extra value, so you're just getting stuff 
for the money that you're paying. But let me know what you thought down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!